You know, one of the things that disturbs me most about this climate change debate is people offering solutions as if they were free lunches. Well, let's just have solar power provide our energy, or let's just have wind power. When you sit down and do the numbers, do the calculations, figure out how much energy you really need, you will find out those are not solutions because they increase the cost tremendously and then are not reliable to boot. Um, it is very important to have this energy for everyone. It turns out that the amount of income that a poor person spends on energy is in proportion much greater than a rich person. So whenever energy is made more expensive, you essentially are creating a regressive tax. I don't know of too many people who think regressive taxes are progress, where poor people pay more for something than a rich person would. But that's exactly what would happen in terms of energy costs. And so this panacea of, well, we can create energy without carbon emissions is just right around the corner, it won't cost as much, is simply not true. Throw that in with this fact. Energy demand is rising. Energy provides such wonderful benefits, and the rest of the world has figured that out too, that uh, the demand is, is rising tremendously. It's not going down. And even the average American, with all our innovations and energy technologies and efficiencies, is still using more energy because that plasma TV that he now has, it's 50 inches across, takes energy. That computer that has all those fancy uh, uh, peripherals to it takes energy. Electricity, electrification of our country has really set us on the path of progress in so many ways, whether you're talking about agricultural research or medical research or anything like that depends upon electricity. So affordable electricity is really the foundation of our innovation and our ability to create better lives for people. Uh, I often talk about my experiences in Africa and one of the things I learned there very clearly was that without energy life is brutal and short and to see a major fraction of the population become beasts of burden by carrying wood, uh, a very low grade source of energy, to their homes to burn is a burden I think needs to be lifted from their shoulders. If those folks can then be made more productive in other pursuits rather than just trying to get energy, their lives would certainly be enhanced. I can assure you that when I would stop an African woman on the road carrying 50 pounds of wood and were to ask her, would you like a ride in my school van? I was a school teacher there in Africa. Every single one of them would say yes because the energy I had in that van that could take her to her home without the burden of carrying all that wood on her back uh, is something she would prefer. And I can assure you, people around the world would prefer the high quality energy sources and the progress we have in this country to where they are today.